Hey guys, that's another people and this is a Protoss vs Random on Circuit Breaker. Now, I would usually start by explaining my mindset and the map and stuff, but I'm not going to do that because I've got someone else to talk about. So this is a random player. In my opinion, random should be banned from ladder. Because, especially as a Protoss player, I'm at such a disadvantage vs Random players. So I usually, I just proxy two gate in the middle of the map. Whenever, same, could be the same random guy, three games in a row. I'm just going to proxy two gate in the middle of the map every time. Because, here's my mindset. Right, so, if I'm Protoss and he's random, it's a big map, this is a big map as well, I can't find him easy. Let's, let's, let's start with my mindset. First of all, I need to, when you think about Starcraft, start of the game, I need to think of my opening build order. And for Protoss, that decides everything in my opening. So let's talk about some basic openers, like a one gate Dragoon opener. I'm not saying that's an official opener, but that expands, takes, appreciates like aggressive, like being aggressive with two gates dragoon. That opens up lots of things. If I do one gate good, that means if he randoms Protoss and he or like if he two gates me or expands, then I just like play safe. If you get me uncomfy, like I'm at a disadvantage if he two like there's he knows what build I'm most likely going to do because he knows what race I am. So, and but if I one gate goon, then if he's Zerg, then I'll probably lose. Like, my chances are so slim to win because I have to one base. Then you have to be a very superior player to win if you're one base and versus Zerg. You're like, right, why don't you two gate then? Because two gate is good versus Protoss if you're aggressive with it. And uh, Zerg, that's a good point. I'd have to two gate at my natural, which can be a bit of an issue for some Protoss, but you can make do it. But then I just straight lose to Terran. So that's playing like a 66% chance to just not lose. So I hate the odds. I hate all the odds. So pretty much, I just two gate in the middle of the map. Because two gate in the middle of the map beats Zerg in 12 hatch and overpool. It beats Protosses being greedy or playing safe. And that's. Uh, and it beats Terrans that don't wall in. So, I just, I don't play with right. I don't think it should be like, in the competitive ladder. No one plays random. Certain races of like, if you're Zerg and you're playing a random player, you can just Ning Pool. You're completely fine. Like, Ning Pool is a legit opener versus every matchup. So I'll talk about the two, even then, like, there's two different random players. Ones that are really good at and ones that are all in. Look at this guy, like, triple hatching, playing random. That's disgusting. He's only getting away with that because he's random. So what you want to do is when you're two getting versus their like proxy, um, he's actually kiting me so hard. You want to damage some of his workers with the pro while you're waiting for the two get units to come in. And if he twelve hatches, you've got you've got the bigger chance of winning, but you can lose. What you have to do is you have to make sure the sunken takes damage before it gets up, and you have to pull back zealots that are about to die. You can't just let a zealot be red health and die because its shields can regen. So it's worth losing a zealot to damage the sunken man. So yeah, I damaged it, also zealot, that's fine. Because you can dive on top of it soon. See, there's four zealots coming up. But I can still lose this. If I lose, you'll see the micro. I'm, I'm quite rusty, but just constantly pulling back the weak zealot. Three zealots is like, what is, that's enough to die on that, dive on that sunken now because I've done damage to it. If that sunken was full HP, it'd be a bit of a problem. If he drone drilled, he should be targeting the weak zero, and that's his fault. Like I said, look, try. I'm pulling back the weak zealots in a second. My rallies are a bit messed up, the zealots aren't, I'm stressed out. See, I'm pulling back the weak zealots, pulling back, that's what you have to do. And by the looks of it, when he starts running his drones, that's him most of the game. But for some reason, he decides to send his drones across the map, the rest of his zerglings. In that situation, all you do is you leave, you leave two zealots, they just stay in the main base and kill the spawning pool or kill the remaining drones. And you just chase them away. The rest of the zealots. If he like came back around with zerglings somehow, or still had lots of zerglings, then just put the zealots on little nooks and crannies to be annoying. But I pretty much won. And mostly because he was being really greedy. Because he was he was basically going to four hatch just off the bat, like with a spawning pool, and that's so greedy. And you'll find random players do that. You'll find they're very greedy or they all win. So it's quite hard to play that mind game. Like you're constantly behind in the mind game and behind in the build order. So I just put two gates in the middle of the map to be honest. I think that's the best build versus randomers. 
Like, at least, if he could have probably held this if he didn't was so greedy and build that for attach. So I'm just probe drilling, you know, that's just slipped on your probes and right click in one mineral field, so all your probes stat, and then you shoot at the same time. Like I said, I'd, I'd pretty much, my chances of winning are higher than his if I too get any 12 hatches. But there's still a micro war going on. Like if I can't get damage to the sunken, or if I can't kill some drones, or just uh, don't pull back the zealots that are red. I still have to do these things, I can't just A move. But as you've seen, he just was being really, just like really greedy random player as usual, taking that third hatch. And just not even building another sunken, building another sunken. But that's pretty much it, that's my, there's no map analysis for this random, you just Especially if you're Protoss, like I said, if you're Terran or Zerg, it's slightly different, but I just think if you're Protoss, you better just haul in. So that's the end of this episode.